Rascal P. Coltrane. Watch your mouth! I'm the President's son! I'm way more powerful than you are! That's even more of a reason for you to go. Seeing you alive should be more than enough proof for them to correct their false reports. I see. You're right! I can prove to them that I'm still alive! Fine. I don't have a choice. Sir Death and Maisel will take you there! Okay, then let's get going! To become the Netherworld President! Desko will kill everyone that gets in her way of becoming the final boss. Desko will make you proud, big sis! I'm not your sister! With each of their hopes in mind, the new party's very first operation was underway. Episode 4, Death in Easel's Death. Come, Fenric!
Excited to see what kinds of enemies we're gonna have to face, Big Sis? Hey, seriously, can you stop calling me Big Sis? Huh? I mean, I wanted a little sister when I was younger. But I really can't accept having some gross-looking monster for a sister, even if it is just a dream. <laughs> this. Stop it! You're making it look like this is my fault. But it is your fault. Yeah, no matter what angle I try to look at it, I'm pretty sure it's all your fault. What? Is everyone blaming this on me? She's the bad guy here! She attacked! Stop right there! I don't approve of this! We must unite as one if we are to accomplish our goal of usurping the regime. It's a tactic that the humans call teamwork. As long as you belong to this new party, I won't allow any dissension among the ranks. Even if you hate each other, just get along. Even if we hate each other? Is there any point to that? Of course there is. You seem pretty confident. Fine. I don't want you to keep crying, so I give you permission to call me Big Sis while we're in my dream. Really? Desko is so happy! But you have to swear absolute loyalty to me. If Big Sis says it's white, then it's white. If Big Sis says it's black, then it's black. Got that? If you follow this rule, then you can call me Big Sis. Big Sis says that crows are white, then Desko will go paint them all white! Good. I'm pretty sure this isn't how sisters are supposed to get along. Well, that's settled. Now, let's go invade the Information Bureau! You consider this settled? All is for my lord.
the netherworld, a world supported by fear energy that is harvested from the human world. The demons here obey only one thing, power. They are divided into different areas, depending on their own personal power. Valvatoras and his party's first destination lies in the lowest level of the netherworld. It's an area inhabited by demonic weaklings and lowly peons. It's been a while since I've smelt the foul air of the netherworld. The sounds of screams echoing in the distance, the blood-soaked ground, the warm air, oh, the sweet memories. Yes, the first time we met, during the Golden Age, when my lord reigned over this world as its tyrant. This place hasn't changed a bit. Ugh! Enough of this sappy crap! We need to hurry up and correct the false news reports! Desco, listen up. If you want to keep being my little sister, you need to act more girly. Girly? But Desco wants to be a final boss. Yeah, but that doesn't change the fact that you're a girl. I don't want to have a tomboy for a sister. Uh, okay, then Desco will be girly. Good, then let's start with skin care. UV rays are your biggest enemy. Make sure you're careful about that, okay? Yes, big sis! Desko thought that heroes were her only biggest enemies, but Desko will add UV rays to her list as well. What the hell are you two talking about? So this is it. I heard they went through quite a transformation since the last time I've been here. But I didn't expect this. <laughs> its appearance isn't the only thing. They have the most advanced security system that was designed by the Science Bureau. No matter how small or strong they are, no demon can crack their security. It's pretty much impossible. Even if that demon is a final boss? They still couldn't do it. Have you heard of the Angel of Avarice? She can't even get through here. Angel of Avarice? Who is that? It's a name that was given to a thief who apparently is an angel that steals from major banks and wealthy families. An angel thief? Ugh, what has the world come to? It's a good thing this is just a dream. The human world is definitely on the verge of its final corruption. Celestia must be going broke, since few humans have faith these days. Anyway, we successfully made it through the security system, which even that angel couldn't get through. And it's all thanks to me. Ha! Feel free to thank me all you want now. However, how is a dead person able to get through such tight security? Does anybody else see some contradictions here? Yeah, but I'm not dead. Soon, everyone will see that I'm still alive, and everything will get all ironed out. Uh, uh please wait, everyone. A final boss can't walk so briskly. It's one of Desco's weaknesses. Sneak, sneak. Are you a Prinny? Uh, yes, I sure am. I, I mean, yep, dude. I'm on the staff here, dude. So please excuse me now, dude. Oh, sure. Does go better hurry, too. You guys look rather suspicious. How did you get inside the building? Not suspicious. She's just a girl who's training to become a final boss. Yeah, how could you accuse us pretty girls of being suspicious? Are you blind? I'm not a pretty girl. But I came here to complain about an article you bastards wrote. There's a typo! Fix it immediately! No, no. I'm just forget these idiots. And, hey! Take a close look at me! I'm Sir Death and Measle, the President's one and only son! As you can see, I'm still alive! Our orders are to eliminate any suspicious individual on sight. Everyone, get in position! Uh, hey, wait! Listen to me! I'm the Netherworld President's only... Nonsense! Our duty is to remove all intruders! Looks like they have no intention of listening to what we have to say. 
Damn it! What's going on? How could this happen?
Ready? It's over! <laughs>
Ugh, they're strong! Shall we continue? Let's fight until we can come to terms. I can go all night if we have to. Hey, hold up! Stop fighting and listen to me! I'm the Netherworld President's only son, Sir Death the Measle! I'm the boss of all of you! Huh? A measle? I read an article that said he's dead. I even heard they already had the funeral. Funeral? No! That was rather prompt. I'm impressed. Henceforth, no one will believe your story now. They won't even have the slightest interest in it. Uh, what difference does it make if they're interested or not? I'm not dead, I'm still alive! Why don't you believe me? Why is it so hard to believe that the news was wrong? I don't know. If the president's son was still alive, don't you think they would have mentioned it in the newspaper? Uh, so you guys only believe what you read in the newspaper? <laughs> How big of a loser are you? They won't believe it, even when you're standing right in front of them. Are you really the president's son? Desko's starting to wonder. Shut up! This must be a mistake! Well, see ya. We have to go report the intruders to our higher-ups. They have complete faith in the news articles that were issued by the Corruptorment. Have they given up the ability to view reality with their own eyes or to think with their own brains? Unfortunately, that's bound to happen to the masses. That's the reason information can be so easily manipulated. It's pathetic. Any source of information can alter the truth to their advantage and conceal or change any news that's harmful to them. Any information that is floating around the netherworld nowadays can be overwritten by the Corruptorment to their favor. Damn it! I'm not gonna stay dead! They will believe me! They will know that I'm alive! There they are! Intruders! This is your big opportunity. Make sure you show them that you're still alive. Rascal, your very existence is a fact. Go out there with confidence. Oh, I, I know that, damn it. Just watch me. I got this. 
Can't you see this? You low-class demons! Look at the skull mark on my hood! This proves that I am Death and Measle, the only son of the president of the Netherworld! Right here! Me! I'm Sora Measle! Look! I'm still alive! You sound so desperate. Ah, <sighs> to be young again. Desko is jealous. She wants her own trademark, too. No, no way! Sura Measle? Yes! It's me! <sighs> cool. They finally believe me. Psych! Did you really think I'd fall for that? How dare you tarnish the name of poor, dead Sura Measle, you impudent brat! Hey! But I am a measle. See? Uh, the skull? That looks too generic. I don't think they're gonna buy it. Hmm. So a trademark should be unique. Desko will take note of that. It is unforgivable to take the death of the president's son lightly. You are hereby sentenced to death. What's wrong with you, Rascal? You can't change anything by looking down at the ground like that. You were killed once by their false news, and now they'll kill you for a false crime! Are you going to allow that, Rascal? Shut up! And stop calling me Rascal! I'm Death and Measle! Fine! I'm gonna prove to them that I'm still alive, even if I have to drill it into their brains! <laughs> That's the spirit, Rascal. How thoughtful of you. You possess such an undemon-like quality. It is one of your formidable powers. <laughs>